You think you could pick that up and ask her to sit? Hold it close to your body. Now ask her. Turn your shoulders to her just like a horse. Turn your short shoulders to the dog. Now ask her again. There she goes. Now she gets to play again. Playing with toys and rules allows the dog to learn what we want her to chew and what isn't for her to chew. We don't leave toys on the floor where she could just come upon them and have a good time. We get the toy out, we play with the dog, we increase listening skills around the toy. So basically it's not just the toy that's important dog. We are also important even when the toy's out. And then after we have a nice good play session, we put the toy away, the dog rests. That's how it's done. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. All right, try again. See if you Daddy. can get see if you can get her to sit with it in with it in her mouth. Daddy. Sit. That's going to be harder. Okay, try some noises. Whoop, whoop. Keep your hand signal up. Put the toy down on the ground. Put the toy down. Say so if you don't listen, I don't play. Keep going. Let's see how you do it. How do you get a dog to listen when it doesn't want to, when its brain is on something else? All right, how about you take yourself away as a mild punishment? Say, okay, you don't listen. I'm not going to tug with you, and I'm not going to be here. Okay, now, wait till she gets bored. Go back over, ask her to sit, and then pick it up and play with her as a reward. So just because a dog doesn't listen when we, don't want, when it, when we want it to, doesn't mean that we don't have any cards in our pocket. Uh -huh. It's still me. I still have things that are important. I have arms and I have legs and I have access to stuff and I have myself. Okay, now go. Ah, uh, she's not bored yet. Wait until she gets bored and starts missing you and wanting it to go places. Here, let's walk all the way away from her. Say bye. See ya. Bye. You don't listen. You don't get us. Bye bye. Now, we go over here like we're having the best time in the world with something else. Like, ooh, what's this? <gasps> ooh, look at this. It's so exciting, Daniel. Look at this. It's so exciting. Look what so I have, Daniel. So All right, you ready? Yeah. Ask her to sit. Sunny. Say it like you mean it. <whistles> Say it. Big girl, Sunny. big girl voice. Sit. Okay, now look at your body language. Ready? Look at mine. Sit. Boom. Okay. Take a few steps away. Keep going. All right. She doesn't care. All right. Call her to you. Call her. Daddy. Come. No, wait till she looks at you. Make noises till she looks. Come on. You can do this. Make, get her attention. What gets her attention? How did I get her? Remember? You move away. And then you pretend you're interested in something else. Oh my gosh, what is this in the grass? Oh my gosh, what is this? Oh my gosh, what is this? Oh my gosh, what is this? Now ask her to sit. Sit. Keep going, babe. Follow her. Sorry. Make a sound. Sit. Keep going. Stay on her. Sit. Stay on her. No more refusing. That's enough garbage. I am important. You must listen to me. That's enough. Too much. Too much. Just keep getting in front of her. Keep doing it. Just don't shove her body. Sit. Keep going. Keep going. You got this. You got this. Sit. There it is. Good girl. Now go get the toy and reward her. So part of getting listening is we don't allow you to blow us off. We might use encouragement. We might use punishment, mild punishment. That may be walking away. We might not give her what she wants. We might even go inside. We might use whatever we got to do, but we do not allow the dog to continually blow us off. That does not teach listening. That teaches blowing off. Good job, Danielle.